Welcome back to Business Radio X Pro Tips. Lee Cantor, Stone Payton here with you. Lee, when when someone is uh, sharing challenges, frustrations, um, you know, and maybe you know, getting getting some input, it's it's important, isn't isn't it, to find out as early as possible, get some clarity around whether they really want your advice or or support. <laughs> yeah, this is something that. Um... I, I, I just think that certain people are wired a certain way. So if somebody asks you a question or they have a challenge, uh, a lot of times your first move is just solve the problem for them. But a lot of times they don't want the problem solved. They just want to kind of vent about the problem and they don't really want an answer necessarily. They just want to be heard. And um, if you ask them, hey, do you want advice or do you want support? Early in the conversation, you're going to save yourself a lot of frustration and grief and you're going to kind of manage the expectations of the person you're talking with. And then that way everybody's clear. So that way, if you go in there and they just want to vent and you just say, yeah, I know, I, I understand that must be frustrating. And you're just listening and kind of affirming what's happening. That's all they want. But if you try to solve the problem, they might be frustrated that you're not listening to them or they're not being heard. So they, you may not even, you think you're helping, but you might be making something worse. So it's important to get clarity uh, around this. And that's why communication is so kind of fragile in this way. A lot of times we jump to conclusions and we're not really listening as actively and precisely. And we don't really know what the person wants. And we think we do. And we're making assumptions. And a lot of times we make the wrong assumptions and we each end up frustrated at the end of this. So if you can get clarity around uh, do they want advice or support, then you can react accordingly you know just because they want to vent and be heard that's fine you don't have to come up with an answer and and not everybody is coming to you because they want you to solve their problems sometimes they just uh, mm -hmm. want you to listen and then um and you can help them just by asking more questions than solving something uh, you know we've been doing this coach the coach show for a while now and that's something that i'm learning from them the coaches that Sometimes you can help them more just by asking more questions and helping um, them get clearer around their frustration rather than coming up with a solution for them. Not everybody wants you to solve their problems. Sometimes they just want to be heard. So listen and ask, and then you'll see um, you might find this works at your house as well as it does in your business. <laughs> Well, I was just thinking while you were talking, this clearly has plenty of application in the professional environment with clients and colleagues, but I'm going to try to take this discipline home with me. 